Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and for some long-term viewers or some people who found my channel from this video, you might be wondering, didn't I watch this video before? Well, yeah, you kind of did. I'm actually remaking a tutorial right now. Let me just explain what happened, all right? This tutorial, I had how to create a hard drive or how to upgrade your hard drive for your Xbox 360 for cheap, and it was a full hard drive hacker tutorial. Uh, what ended up happening was this tutorial actually got quite popular because I'm pretty sure I was like one of the only people on YouTube who had this tutorial. It got probably like 90,000 views at least, something like that. And what happened months ago, I was cleaning up, you know, content ID claimed videos and everything. And normally what I like to do, if there's a content ID claim that I cannot dispute, I'll just delete the video. And this was that one last video that I could not get the claim off of because I was using a song that was copyrighted in YouTube's content ID database. And then I looked and the video was not getting that many views per month, you know, compared to other views, other videos I was making. And then people were complaining that, you know, you could get drives cheaper elsewhere, all this other stuff, that the links were dead. People were accusing it of being a scam as well, which I just, I'm laughing because if you really know me, you know I'm not going to be putting out malicious links or anything like that. So I deleted the video. No big deal. But of course, you know, a few days later, people kept asking, where is this video? Where is this video? And people have been asking me for the past few months, so you have the backstory on that over... Uh, excuse me, on there, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the 2015 remake of this tutorial of how to upgrade your Xbox 360's hard drive for cheap. So, first off, you're going to need a Western Digital hard drive, and I am using a Windows computer. It just needs to be a 2.5 inch hard drive, so it easily goes into your system, and you're going to have to open up your hard drive chassis and everything, which I'm not going to be showing you how to do on this video. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, Western Digital hard drives are better than the hard drives that Microsoft puts in. I know I'm going to cause, you know, a whole storm down below in the comment section. Trust me, I've had experience. They are better. They run better. There's, there's nothing else I can really say about it. But they do normally run better than the stuff that Microsoft puts into their consoles and everything. And this was a way to do it cheaper. Now they're about the same price. But either way, I'd like to have it, you know, archived and everything. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need this thing called HD Tools YouTube Package 2015. This is something Something I'm building myself then I can't really provide these files but what you need to do is you need to look for your hard drive security sector so whatever size you want to put on the hard drive you're gonna to need to find that and you're going to also need a partition too. this is if you want to enable backwards compatibility with the Xbox 360's hard drive so of course as I said you're going to need a 2.5 inch size Western Digital hard drive of some kind uh, and then this is what you're going to need right here if you go ahead and check this out uh, you're you're going to want to download whichever type or look up just look up uh, HDD SS you know hard drive security sector and whatever drive you have so I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive so I'm going to use the 500 one right here uh, there's other ones for example you know 20 60 120 250 320 all that other stuff now some people might be asking for example what if I have a 160 gigabyte drive well if you have a 160 gigabyte drive you have to use the 120 or you can use the 60 you can only use the same size or lower you can't go higher you can't use that extra you know amount of space that would be allowed uh, because it just it won't work on your Xbox so you might have you know some dead space on there now this is what you want to do first off you want to go ahead once you download the package and extract it you want to go ahead and open up your HDD tools YouTube package and you want to go to this drive right here while well, this folder called uh, WD drive lifeguard open up this file right here hit I accept next make sure you have a few hours free time as well too or just you know run, let this run like for a few hours while you're at work or anything like that while you're sleeping what you want to do is go ahead and double click whatever hard drive you want to write zeros to uh, this is normally recommended for new drives people say you know new drives are going to be tested and everything I've come across dead on arrival drives or drives that have had issues brand new drives trust me I've been in this for a while so what you want to do I'm not gonna be formatting this one because this is my actual drive right here but you want to go ahead double click whatever drive you have hit right zeros and then it's going to give you a few options like if you want to do a quick one or a full one what I recommend doing is doing a quick one first and sometimes that one might fail uh, but then once it does uh, you can go ahead and start it again it will do a quick zero uh, it will quickly write zeros over to your drive then you can do a full one that's just to kind of do a stress test to the drive and just you know make sure all your sectors are working and everything so go ahead and do that to your drive if you want to it's optional but I recommend it and I'll go ahead and see you all in a bit.
Anyways, now assuming that you have completed all of that right there, uh, or you can do this while you are waiting for your drive to write zeros if you're doing that option, go ahead and open up the bootable USB drive creator tool. Double click this, double click the EXE right here, and sometimes it might ask for that, but you can go ahead and just hit that with administrator rights. That's kind of weird that it brought it up on there, but whatever. Uh, anyways, what you want to do is go ahead, plug in a flash drive, and I am going to go ahead and select my generic flash drive right here. Uh, now, the flash drive I have, you just need one that's really small, like a gigabyte in size will do. And it's recommended if you can set it to fat, that would be great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll call this one Xbox, you know, obviously, and then go ahead, do quick format and do create bootable drive, hit the ellipse right here. And once you hit that ellipse, you want to go over to your bootable USB drive creator tool, go over to your USB drive boot files and select MS DOS, hit OK, hit start right there, hit yes, make sure that's a drive you want to format. That is the drive I want to format because there's nothing important on there. And of course, you know, I have I have to have it open in another window while I'm doing this. So go ahead, close all your windows that you have it opened up in. Now, as you can see, it just finished up right there. It says volume labels Xbox, blah, 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 blah. Hit OK on there. And now you have a bootable flash drive. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead, come back here and go to HDD Hacker. And you want to copy over hddhacker.exe, you want to go to your flash drive and just paste it to the root of your flash drive. Once you have that done, I'll go ahead and refresh right there. You want to go ahead and grab your security sector file. So I have a 500 gigabyte drive. You want to copy and paste that into the file or uh, I guess the flash drive as well. And you want to rename this file. You want to rename it hddss, all one word, hddss.bin. So you want to have hddhacker.exe and hddss.bin. And hacker is spelled like that. That's not a misspelling or anything for this program. Anyways, once that is all done, this is what you're going to want to do. If you're using a laptop, go ahead, shut it down, open it up, and replace the hard drive in your laptop with the hard drive that you have here. If you're using a desktop like I am, you're going to want to open up your desktop. And I recommend disconnecting all of your drives, so your disk drives and especially your hard drives or solid states, from the motherboard itself. That way, there's no other, w there's no possible way that you're going to be formatting your drive or anything like that, you know, like your boot drive or anything. Uh, it's just a precaution, honestly. That's my recommendation, but go ahead, open up your computer, and then this is what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to go ahead, keep your flash drive plugged in, and then boot it up however you do it. Normally, if you boot up a computer, you can hit like F12 or something like that and select USB drive. But I'll go ahead, shut down my computer, hook this up, and I'll meet you all in my computer bios, I guess. All right, once you have your flash drive plugged in, your computer's rebooted, and you've been able to boot off your flash drive, again, I really recommend, while your computer's off, disconnecting any other hard drives or solid state drives you have, so that the only thing connected is your hard drive itself. And I'm just plugging mine directly into my motherboard. First off, I want to say if at one point in time you do get a message saying that you can't detect, uh, your system can't detect, you know, your drive or anything like that, that means HDD Hacker is just not compatible with your chipset. It might happen, I mean, it's rare, but it happened with my old laptop. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into this. So if you're at this screen right here, as you can see, this might be kind of intimidating to people who have never worked in anything that was not a GUI. Well, I'll help you out. What you want to do is load up HDD Hacker, H-E-D-H-A-C-K-R, you want to drop the E in there, dot E-X-E, and it brings up this thing right here. And as you can see, the only thing available is number three, and that is my 500 gigabyte Western Digital Drive. You want to go ahead, hit three. Well, you know, in my case, I'm hitting three. In your case, you might be hitting any other number. You want to go ahead, hit enter, and now it's going to ask what you want to do. You want to go ahead and flash the firmware, so type F and enter and then enter the file name for the sector. So that is exactly hddss.bin. It's cutting off on the camera, but trust me, that's what it is. Hit enter, and then you want to type in your backup file name. We'll go ahead, type in undo.bin, hit enter. Now it's going to bring up all this information right here. What you wanna do is verify that this is the drive that you currently have and this is the file that you're gonna be flashing over. And yes, that is the same type thing and everything. What you wanna go ahead and do is when it asks you want to flash Xbox 360 compatible firmware, type Y and hit enter. 
Now, even though it told you you can turn off your computer, just wait a minute, load up HDD Hacker again. So type in hdhacker.exe, hit enter. It's gonna ask to uh, pick your device again. Go ahead, find your drive, and then you want to go ahead and say C on here. This is going to go ahead and create your partitions, all that stuff. So just go ahead, let it do its thing. So you have all the partitions available. So as you can see, the partitions have been created just fine. Now, what you wanna do if it hangs up right here, go ahead and just turn off your computer. It's fine, go ahead, turn it off and then disconnect your drive. And what you wanna do after this is go ahead, pop your drive into a caddy of some kind for the Xbox 360, hook it up to your 360 and format the drive. Once it's formatted, turn off your 360, hook it back up to your computer and I'll see you in a bit. All right, at this point, your Xbox drive is now working, so you could be good to go. However, I like to have a fully compatible Xbox 360 drive, so this is the last thing you want to do. First off, uh, sometimes you might be able to hook it up in your computer, just keep it there. Uh, other times, like right now, I'm actually using a USB enclosure for this part. Uh, but the last part, you want to go ahead and open up your HDD tools again. And don't open up either of these two. You want to open up the original Explore X360 Extreme. You want to double click this, and if you're running on Windows 8, you might have some trouble with this. What you want to do is right click this, go to Properties. You want to go to Compatibility, check Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for Windows 7. Hit OK and then right click run as administrator. Then you want to come over here, go to drive, open, hard drive or mem card, and it should load up your drive. Now what we're needing is partition 2. Uh, this is the Xbox original Xbox emulation partition. If you try and run an original Xbox game on this drive right now, it just won't work. This is what you need to do. Now another thing that you can download that I cannot include is the Xbox Partition 2. Uh, you could either find this online or if you have a official 360 drive, you could actually hook it up through Explorer 360 and you can back up your Partition 2 and get it that way. That's how I got it off an old 20 gig. Now what you want to do here when you have your drive open, you want to go to Drive, hit Restore Partition 2 and find your Partition 2. Once you load up Partition 2, it's going to restore it. Mine's going really fast because I have it hooked up to a USB 3 enclosure, and it might give you this little crash right here, which, I mean, that's really not that big of a deal, just with Windows 8 doing its own stuff. But we can go ahead, hit Cancel here. But at this point, you can go ahead, double check it. Go ahead, open up your drive again. Have to do the whole run as administrator thing. But open up your drive again. You can go to Partition 2, and as you can see, your TDBX and compatibility are right there, which they were not before. So that is really the stuff that you are needing in order for all this to work. Anyways, you can go ahead now, close out of your drive, and see, whenever you do that, it just ends up giving you this air right here. But go ahead, hit cancel. You should be good to go, and now you should have a Western Digital Drive working on any type of Xbox 360 that can also play original Xbox games. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial that's been revived from the dead, and I hope you know the updates have been good enough for 2015. Anyways, signing off real this time. Later, everyone. Enjoy your drives.